the most important aspect of fence that we, that we like is that it's simplified, right? The fence is the out of bounds lines on the side and then also on the baseline, right? So if we told our players, get on the fence, right? They would get to some part of the fence, okay? In terms of spacing, we believe it to be um, about as good as it gets. Uh, we have tape on the floor. That tape, in terms of the NBA line, we have all our players, as we get better throughout the course of the year, be behind the NBA line, and when they do catch, coming into their shot with momentum. Right, that's very, very important to us. We don't feel like we want to stand on the three. We don't have any momentum into our shot or a rip and go weak side, let's say. So we're always trying to, to creep and, and hover out here and behind the NBA three. Okay? We also have X's on the floors. Right? right off the top, the key extended. In the deep corner at 16 feet on both sides. Right? If we have a big that we feel is really good around the rim, we would also be having uh, X's where they can relocate, say, in a uh, dribble drive offense. Okay? We also have a no stand zone. So in our offense, between the backboard edge and all the way up to the free throw line, we don't want anyone standing in that area. Right? And what really made us think about this was if you had a zone offense, you would always have a man behind the zone uh, so that it would create larger gaps to flash and cut in the zone. Right? Since we're penetration based and the fence offense is penetration based, we do the same thing in man to man that you would do in a zone. So we always have players going beneath the defense to create larger gaps. Right? One of the best demonstrations of that is if we had, uh, let's say, a coach you want to come out in a guard, Jack. Jack, would you get mid lane in the uh, no stand zone, right? Defense is going to go where they can see their man. So they're looking back and forth, comfortable where they can see their man, right? If Jack was to go deeper, you would see the defensive player go as deep as he needs to to see where his man is. And at times you're going to see, like on uh, this side of the floor, Cedric and Jace are close together. Human nature, it doesn't matter if they were standing right next to each other, the defense would drop and drop and drop till they could see their man, right? So if we have a great penetrator, and we call it, call it attacking the paint, right? We would be penetrating, Jack, come on back up, right? If, if I'm guarding the ball handler and he's attacking by me, Right? There's a lot less space for him to turn the corner here, right? Rewind. If Jack were lower and draws the defender lower because he has to see him, that's what humans do. Now Austin comes and he gets another three to five feet, maybe one more dribble, if not two, to uh, blow by me to get to the paint. That's what's so special about uh, the fence offense.